We are back with three CST questions. I've been absent for a while. I apologize. But yes, I have a job. And I cannot do these videos all the time. I apologize. But on to the first CST question. Again, my name is Brad. Uh, we are going to do three CST questions, uh, give you the answers. I want you guys to look at these questions individually. We'll put them up on the screen. You break it down. If you have any questions, and if you know the answers, I want you to put your answers in the comment section. Okay? Share this video. Like. Subscribe. This helps us get that video out there. Helps us with that algorithm. Okay? All right. On to the first question. First question. A little bit of an anatomy question. First question is, the small intestines begins at the blank. Is it A, the stomach? Is it B, the hepatic artery? Is it C, the pylorus? Or is it D, the ileocecal valve? That is question number one. Put your answers in that comment section. All right, we're gonna move on to the second question. The brain. Second question, second question. The brain contains how many ventricles? Again, the brain contains how many ventricles? Is it two, three, four, or five? All right, put your answers in those comments section. If you can answer that further, how many ventricles we have, what produces CSF, and where is that located in what ventricle? Anyways, that was question number two. How many ventricles does the brain consist of? Two, three, four, or five. Put your answers in that comment section. And if you stick to the end, we'll try to give you a bonus question. Hopefully you guys can stick around, answer these questions, you know, and provide some answers in that comment section, okay? Answer our question number three, we're gonna find. All right, question number three is craniocytosis, which is a condition is a what? What type of condition is that? Is it A, a premature closure of the craniosutures? Is it B, an infection of the subdural space? Or is it C, improper absorption of CSF? Or D, congenital collection of abnormal vessels? All right, go ahead and answer that in the comment section. Question number three, craniocytosis. Do you know what that is? Um, I'd like to get your feedback. What do you want to see in a surgical technology type of YouTube page, right? Do you want to see more of anatomy? Do you want to see more of uh, maybe draping? Um, we try to provide you <laughs> with the time I have allowed uh, any type of subject. So I like your opinion. What would you like to see on this YouTube page? And if you subscribe and share these videos, they help us out too, all right? Bonus question. All right, your bonus question is uh, just an anatomy question. And anyone that starts any kind of CST or any type of surgical technology program should know anatomy. And this is a very basic, uh, the abdominal or general type of anatomy, right? The questions you're gonna have are the colon begins at where? The cecum, the jejunum, the ilium or the sigmoid? Where does the colon, which is the large bowel, begin? Do you know what that term is? And the small bowel is obviously running into that part of the large bowel, and that's gonna be the beginning of that large bowel, otherwise known as the colon. And it's also called something. What lies right below that small bowel? Put your answers in the comment section. Hopefully you enjoyed the three CST questions if you want to watch other videos uh, on CST questions, we have it right here. Uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, hit that little icon with my face on it and subscribe to these videos. Share, like, uh, and let me know what you want to see in the future because we're trying to provide resources for everyone, just not the students, but anyone that's watching out there in the world. Uh, be safe, and hopefully I'll see you next time, guys, okay?